Hi students, this is the Pilates Fundamentals video number one. And so we're gonna start right away lying down. Make sure you have your props, your mat laid out. If not, pause me, go get your stuff, get everything set up. You're gonna need your head support, an extra towel for between the legs, and a larger bath sized towel that we're gonna to use to twist in place of a TheraBand. Um, and then once you have all that, turn me back on. All right, here we go. Tuck and roll on your side and onto your back. Nothing under the head yet, but do have your head support ready to slip in. Place your little extra towel between the legs in place of the ball, and then bring your feet just a fist apart under your knees. Arms alongside on your mat. The first thing we do is establish our neutral pelvis, tailbone lengthening to the mat, tiny, tiny mouse house under the waist, and check all your back ribs are on the mat and then brace across like a saran wrapping of those abdominals to engage and activate them. All right, we're ready for some pelvic tilts. Inhale, prepare, hollow the low belly to curl the tailbone flat in the waist. No glutes yet, just the abdominals mainly, and roll that tailbone toward the feet, lengthening out, making sure you don't over arch, okay? Exhale, scoop and curl the tailbone. Inhale, roll to neutral. Scoop and hollow the belly to curl. Nice hollow, not a bulge. So always kind of be aware that you're scooping under the ribs and not bulging and pushing up with your belly. And roll back down one more time. Exhale, scoop and curl. And roll to neutral, ready for the bridge. Starting with your curl, pelvic curls. Roll that pelvis up off the mat to about the back of the shoulder blades. Nice straight line from the shoulders to the knees. Be careful you don't drop your little towel from between your knees. Inhale, heavy chest away from the ceiling to start rolling down. Be sure to roll one bone at a time, feel your waist make contact, and then unravel down to neutral. Inhale, scoop and hollow the belly. Exhale to roll up to your bridge. Pause at the top, inhale, heavy chest. Bone by bone, sinking into the mat, away from the ceiling, and unraveling at the bottom. Tailbone lengthening, get into that neutral. One more time, inhale, scoop and curl. Roll the pelvis up to that nice straight line bridge. Pause, inhale, heavy chest, roll through that spine. Once you're all the way back to neutral, go ahead and slip your head support in. That bony part behind the back of the head is where you want it, and that neck free to float. All right, and then we're gonna interlace our fingers, heel, heels of your hands behind the back of the head with the elbow side diagonal. Remain in that neutral pelvis throughout our ab curls. Inhale, nod the chin, sinking the breastbone, curl the chest forward to look forward. Check your tailbone down, inhale, and lower the chest, exhale. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward. Check that tailbone down, inhale, no tuck. And lower back down, exhale. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone to curl. This time, stay. Reach forward, grab onto your back legs, lift that half inch. Check your shoulders down, check your tailbone down, no tuck. And keep that height of the chest as you bring the hands back behind, hold. Inhale and lower the chest, exhale. Again, inhale, nod. Sink that breastbone to curl the chest forward, stay, tailbone anchored. Reach forward, grab on. Lift that half inch, check your position. Hands behind the head, and we hold for five. Breathing four, holding three, and two, and one, and lower the chest down. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward. Reach forward, grab on, lift that half inch. Check that that tailbone stays down and then bring those hands behind the head. Now we're gonna do that tiny pulse. You just lower a half inch and up for five. Lower half inch and up four. And exhale three, and exhale two, and exhale stay, inhale and lower, exhale. Now remove your hands. Remove your towel from between your legs. Bring your feet and knees all the way together and move the feet just a few inches away from you. Keep those arms planted on the mat. 
Ready for leg levitations. Float your right leg to perfect tabletop, 90-90. Lower it smoothly, putting the foot on your pool of water that you do not want to ripple. Lift your left leg, perfect tabletop, inhale. Lower smoothly down, exhale. This time, lift your right leg to stay. And now, tightening, not arching the low back, lift your left to join. Both legs together in that nice 90-90 table. Up. Don't let your knees get away from you like this. Nope, knee over crease of hip. Don't let those feet drop, feet up in line with knees. Now your toe dips, dip the right, inhale. Lift up with nothing else moving, exhale. Dip the left, inhale. Smoothly up, exhale. Dip the right, inhale. Smoothly up, exhale. One more, dip the left, inhale. And lift to tabletop, stay. Grab behind the back legs, hug those knees. Let your tailbone curl and feel that nice stretch and rock a little side to side. Now keep your hands there, push your legs into your hands. Start drawing that tailbone down as you move the legs back to where they're at a 90. Then keep the knees right there and just put the balls of the feet on the mat, legs and feet together. Draw your tailbone down, make sure you're in that neutral pelvis. Open your arms to that T shape, letter T on the floor. Make sure the arms are not above you but below your shoulders slightly. Anchor those shoulder blades into your mat for the knee sways. Tip your pelvis and legs to the right, keeping the left shoulder down, inhale. Squeeze abdominals to bring it center. Exhale, anchor the tailbone when you reach center. Over to the left, keep that right shoulder on the mat and initiate with your abdominals to bring it back to center. Again, inhale over to the right, keep breathing. And exhale, let nothing distract you. And over to the left, inhale, keeping those shoulders anchored. And exhale to center, pause, heels down. Now just move your feet a few more inches away, but keep the feet and knees together. Reach your arms up, cross hand over hand. We're gonna do our ab curl into the hula. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward. Reach to your knees and draw your tailbone down. Now take your hands outside your right knee, straight across left knee. Exhale right, exhale left. And reach and reach. Try to maintain the same height as you work. Careful not to tuck your tailbone. Careful not to let your head fall back. Always keep your focus forward for two more. And exhale right, exhale left. Take it center, inhale, lower everything. Exhale, roll your head side to side. Good job. All right, grab that twisted, uh, first grab your tab that goes between your knees, place that and put your feet right under your knees. Then grab that twisted towel, and if it came untwisted, just take a real quick moment to retwist it. Try to do that quickly. And then it's just enough, and then reach that towel above your solar plexus, just like we would with our stick or our TheraBand. And we want it not behind us yet, just in front of the shoulder. And you want to pull on it just enough to make your towel nice and taut. And then we're going to reach back for rib cage arms. Keep all your back ribs on the mat as you reach. Inhale. Take it straight up over solar plexus. Exhale. Keep the arms good and straight. Reach back, keeping all your back ribs on your mat. No lifting those ribs. And exhale up. One more time. Inhale, reach back. And this time, as the towel goes up, nod the chin. Reach forward as you ab curl the chest forward and reach the, uh, the um, towel towards your top knees. Hold there, reaching for an inhale. Lower the chest, exhale. Reach back again, rib cage arm, all back ribs on the mat. Take the towel up as you nod, inhale. Focus goes forward as you ab curl, reach the towel toward the top knees. Hold there, inhale and lower the chest, and then place your towel down. And now we're going into ab curl with rotation. Interlace your fingers, hands behind your head again, and we'll do the ab curl with rotation. The lower part from the waist down does not move at all at any time in this exercise. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone to curl the chest, and stay looking forward. 
Now keep that eye curl, you just rotate to your right, exhale, and back to center, and to your left, exhale. Just looking in that little diagonal direction, and back to center, twist to the right diagonal, and center, nothing moving below the waist, twist to the left diagonal, hold center, inhale, lower the chest. Let's do that again, inhale, nod. Sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward. Now start left first, twist to your left diagonal, exhale, and back to center, twist to the right diagonal, and back to center, twist to the left diagonal, and back to center, twist to the right diagonal, and back to center, hold, inhale, and lower, exhale. I think our abs are warmed up now. We're going into our 100. Keep your towel between your legs. Keep your neutral pelvis throughout. We're going to be doing that pumping and breathing. Let's do a set of 70, take a break, and then a set of 30. Here we go. Ready for ab curl. Inhale, nod. Sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward. Flatten that belly and look at your legs. Pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Careful not to look at the ceiling. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Lower everything down. Roll your head side to side. Release any tension. And then we're going to do another set of 30. Always remembering to maintain neutral pelvis. Maintain your focus forward while you're pumping. Here we go. Inhale, nod the chin. Sink the breastbone. Curl and reach those arms one inch off the mat. Pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, five. Inhale, lower, exhale. And I'm imagining you all did that perfectly. Good job. Okay, roll to your side. Now we're gonna use our twisted towel for this next one. We're gonna be seated in the middle of our mat. Move your head support out of the way. Take your twisted towel, hook it over our, uh, we're gonna open our legs apart the width of your mat, flex the feet and sit up nice and tall. This is our half roll back. So we're gonna do a hook of the towel over both feet. Grab the ends of your towel, lift up. We won't go very far because this doesn't stretch like your band, but we're just gonna do the initiation. So you inhale, C curve first, and just roll to the C curve, pull on that towel. You'll feel that opposition like we want to feel when we start that roll back. Then rock back up and keep that tautness on the towel. The towel will help you get your low back lifted so we don't have that little slump like this. This is not what we want. So the towel pulling helps me lift that low back so I do have that natural curve at the back of my waist. Inhale, C curve, shoulders down. Just get this, just the C curve first. And then rock back up and lengthen. We're gonna do one more of those. Inhale, hollow, C curve, shoulders down, no hunching. Feel that pull on your towel. And then rock back up. Now, release the towel, but keep your position. And put your feet flat the width, width of your mat and grab behind your legs. Now we do the half roll back. We go a little further, but we start the same. Inhale, hollow C curve. Now really use your arms to help you go into a deeper curve to roll back a little bit more. Now I have that little rowboat kind of feeling. We inhale, deepen the belly backward as you curve your spine over your legs. My head goes toward my knees. Then rock on top of your sit bones and unravel against your imaginary wall that you're up against. Inhale, C curve to scoop and roll back. Hold there, feeling that nice hollowing. And then pull the belly back as you curve forward and rock on top of sitting bones. Let's do one more. Inhale, hollow C curve, half roll back. Pull, inhale. And remember, only go back as far as you can do it with uh, perfection as much as possible. We don't want to go back and start flattening and putting strain on the back. So always be careful of that. 
Okay, let's now roll back onto our back and we're gonna do our leg circle. We don't have a TheraBand necessarily, so we're gonna do it without the band today. And this will be a little more challenging. We're only gonna do five in each direction. So once you're down, slip your head support back underneath the back of your head. Return your spine and pelvis to neutral pelvis. Nice tight belly. And now, we're gonna slide our feet away from us so the knees are just ever so slightly bent. So I'm, see how I'm sliding them pretty far away. Not completely straight, but I'm not up like this like we do in some of our other exercises. I'm really sliding them out. Now, keep your pelvis level neutral, tighten your belly and pick your right leg. Uh, and let's open our arms to a T-shape, I'm sorry, just to help us anchor our shoulders. Now, we're gonna pick up the right leg to tabletop, flex the foot, pull the toes back towards your shin, then stretch it as much as you can in a position where you can keep your tailbone down. Remember, the leg does not have to be straight up, especially if you're not flexible enough. We don't want to tuck. Now we're starting that small circle across the body. Across, inhale, circle, exhale, up, one. And if you want, you can straighten that bottom leg all the way. Inhale, exhale, up, two. See how small it is? We're not moving that pelvis. Exhale, up, three. Inhale, exhale, up, four. One more, exhale, pause and reverse. Out a little, down, around, across, up. Inhale, quiet pelvis, two. No wobbles in the pelvis, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, pause, bend and grab behind, hug in. Stretch the legs out, and again, we'll do the other side, so open to the T. Bend the left leg in. If you want to bend your bottom leg a little, you can. Flex the foot first, stretch the leg in the position where you can keep your tailbone down and start across. Inhale, exhale up one. Inhale, exhale up two. Inhale, exhale up three. Inhale, exhale up four. Inhale, exhale, pause five, reverse. Inhale, exhale up one. Inhale, exhale up two. Inhale, exhale up three. Inhale, exhale up four. Inhale, exhale, pause, bend the knee, grab behind, hug that leg to the chest, and then bring the other leg in as well. Roll to your side, come to sit, move a foot forward. We're gonna do rolling like a ball. Let's get in our tight ball shape. You can grab behind the back legs or the front shins and make your ball shape. You wanna draw the shoulders down, look at your belly, scoop the belly, and then pick the feet up just to find that hover balance position. Leading from your tailbone area, deepen your belly to roll just to your shoulder shelf, inhale, forward to the balance, hold, one and two. Roll, inhale, roll, exhale. Now if you feel discomfort and you need to put more padding, you can pause me and do that. Add some towels if you need to, if you're not on a, a cushioned enough to carpet. Okay, inhale, roll, exhale forward, hold one and two. Inhale, roll, exhale forward, hold one. Let's do two more. Inhale, roll, exhale forward, hold one and two. Inhale, roll, exhale forward, hold one and two. Feet down, scoot your hips back to the center of your mat, roll on your side, onto your back. You can use your head support. We're going into the abdominal block. Single leg stretches up first. Follow me. Right into your neutral. Arms alongside. Tighten your belly. Lift your right leg tabletop. Left to join. Hands on top of knees. Inhale. Nod the chin. Ab curl to look forward. Check your tailbone down. Straighten your left leg on the diagonal. Hands to the right knee. Keep a perfect tabletop. Simultaneously switch and switch and switch, and switch. Maintain your ab curl, looking towards your feet. No pelvic movement, stretching one leg while bending the other to tabletop, but no movement in the trunk. And two more, and hug in and lower. Roll your head a little side to side. Double leg stretch prep. Move your legs to tabletop, tailbone down, hands, on uh, hands lightly behind, just touching, not pulling. And we're gonna ab curl while we simultaneously straighten the legs to Pilates V with the heels together in the turned out V. Your tailbone is down, 
Let go to reach alongside for a second. Grab again and lower and bend. All right, here we go. Inhale, nod, ab curl, straighten the legs to Pilates V, tailbone down, reach alongside, 100 position. Inhale, touch behind, bend and lower, exhale. One more, inhale, nod, lift and reach the heels together, stretch alongside, grab on, bend and lower, hug in. We're gonna repeat that and do the next level of difficulty. If you don't feel ready to do the next level of difficulty, do the version we just did but we're gonna add, I'm gonna demo it. We're gonna ab curl and straighten the legs. When you reach, same thing here, but then right away we're gonna go up toward the ceiling and back down and then grab and lower. When you go up to the ceiling with the arms, be careful your head does not go up and look up and fall back. Be careful you look towards your legs as your arms go up and as your arms come down. So that's very important. All right, so follow my cue, modify if you need to by doing the first version. Legs tabletop, lightly hands behind, check your tailbone down, and nice flat belly. Inhale, nod. Ab curl as you straighten the legs. Reach alongside, inhale. Arms go up as you keep looking forward. Arms come down. Bend the legs, lower the chest as you touch behind. Inhale, ab curl, straighten the legs and reach. Arms alongside. Arms up as you keep looking forward. Arms alongside and bend and lower. Let's do one more. Inhale, ab curl, straighten. Reach the arms alongside. Arms go up as you keep looking forward. Arms come down. And you can always take your legs higher than what I'm doing, like this, that's fine. And then lower and hug in. Roll your head side to side. Place your feet down, knees and feet together. Move your feet away from you. Check your tailbone down neutral. Check your back ribs down. We're gonna do the crisscross prep. Interlace your fingers, hands behind your head, and make sure your elbows are on a slight forward diagonal. All right, we're gonna ab curl as our prep. Inhale, nod, sink the breastbone to curl forward, check tailbone down. As you pick up your right leg to tabletop, twist toward that diagonal, exhale. Put it down center, but don't lower the chest. Twist to the left as you pick up the left to tabletop, and put it down center, and twist and center, and twist, and center. Exhale to twist, and center. Exhale to twist, and center, and lower the chest down. All right, bring your legs in, hug in again, rock a little side to side. Roll onto your side, come to sit. We're transitioning now to uh, laying on our stomachs. We've done a lot of abdominal work. We're gonna do a little bit of back work. Now it's very important in back work that you're, you're supporting your back with your abdominals. So when we lay on our stomach, we wanna make sure that our pelvic triangle in the front is planted on your mat. So I want you to lay down with your little head support and cross your hands on your head support and then put your forehead on your hands. Draw your feet together parallel. Now the first thing we do is we wanna make sure that we don't have our little pubic bone popping up off the mat. We wanna press the pubic bone and the two front pelvic bones onto your mat gently. Then lift your navel slightly away from the mat to engage your abdominals. The legs are actively stretching together, not relaxed. And then draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Once you're in that position, float your right leg one inch off the mat, keeping the knee straight. A small, tiny pulse toward the ceiling without moving your pelvis and keeping that neutral position on the mat. Then we'll do 10, so we're about at eight, nine, 10, and lower. Float your left leg just an inch, knee straight. Keep it straight throughout and pulse one. Two, try not to disturb your pelvis at all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold 10, and lower. Now turn to your Pilates V, heels together turned out. Separate the legs in the open V. Open V meaning the legs are in turnout but open about six to eight inches between your heels. And we're ready for upper back uh, lift which we call basic back lift. 
And this is only your upper body. Your legs are gonna stay on the mat. Your forehead is gonna stay on your hands, but you're gonna lift your chest, head, arms as a unit, just a few inches off the mat and continue looking down at your mat when you lift. Don't pull your head up and then lower back down. And you keep your belly tight underneath throughout all these little upper back covers. Here we go. Position, tight belly, keep that pelvic neutral anchored on the mat, hover your upper back, inhale, and lower it down, exhale. Hover it up, inhale, lower down, exhale. Hover it up, inhale, lower down, exhale. One more, hover, inhale, lower down, exhale, pause. Hands by ribs on the mat. Bring your legs together. Now right here you need to tighten your belly like crazy so that you can push up and back, round your back, and sit back to our little rest position. So toes can be together, knees apart, sit your hips toward your heels, drop your forehead toward the mat, and now breathe deeply into your back ribs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now roll up and move to the middle of your mat in your four point kneel position. Hands under armpits, Knees a fist apart under the little creases at your hip socket. Bond your shins and top feet to the floor. Now you want to be in neutral. So I'm not in a round back and I'm not in a saggy horse like this. I'm going to lift my breastbone away from the mat, tighten my belly, but I'm keeping that natural curve in my low back without disturbing it. Head up in line. Now you want to look diagonally forward of your hands, remember, about two feet forward to get your head in line. Keeping all of that, flying table. Right arm and left leg reach out in opposition, in line with your spine. Hold there with trying not to uh, wobble at all. Very stable position. Remember, stable means no movement. And breathe as you hold the position. Now slowly, with no perceptible wobbling, return to your four-point position. Reestablish it carefully. Now the other side, left arm, right leg slide out in line with your spine. And try to keep that focus stationary. Don't look forward towards your hand. You're looking toward the mat in front of you, two feet. Breathing, keeping that navel really pulled in. Slowly return, no perceptible shifting. And now we do cat stretch. Round your spine, arcing toward the ceiling as you draw the head down. Lengthen in both directions, tailbone to the back wall, head to the front wall, and reestablish that neutral. Scoop and hollow, exhale. Lengthen to neutral, inhale, stay. Now tuck your toes under for our little four-point kneel hover. Keep your neutral and just pick your knees one inch up, nothing else moves, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees down, untuck toes, round into the cat, sit back to rest position again. Take two deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, roll it up. And now sit facing uh, in, in the, in a, just on your mat and extend your legs out in front of you and open your legs, the width of your mat, flex your feet, pulling the toes back. Now remember, if you have trouble sitting up on your sit bones with your legs straight, all you need to do is just bend your knees a little bit, but keep your heels on the mat and lift that low back so we're not in a, a rounded hunker, but lift it against our wall. All right, this is your spine stretch. Rest your hands on your legs with the arms straight. Lift the front body, lift the back pant waist, really sandwiching front to back, back to front, and keep your toes and knees toward the ceiling. We scoop up, we lengthen up, we nod up and over like a little candy cane hook. You're gonna round forward like you're coming over a ball in front of you, sliding the arms along the legs. Grab your ankles, hold there, inhale, pulling the belly away from the feet, and then stack your bones <clears throat> against your imaginary wall. 
lengthening with the head coming up last. Inhale, scoop the belly, not up and over, curve. Slide the arms forward. Grab the ankles, pulling the navel away from the feet. Roll up carefully against your wall and, and make sure the shoulders are not hunching at any point during the spine stretch. One more. Inhale, up and over, curve. Slide forward, but keep the belly pulling backward. Grab ankles, pull the belly back even more, deepening your curve, and then roll up against your wall and stack it up. Now bring your palms together in the center, ready for saw. You're gonna take your left hand across, or you can follow, just do my direction, whichever, but it's the opposite hand to the little toe. You can go across, sawing off the little toe, you look down and back as your back arm swings back, and then you pull the belly in tight so we don't lift either sit bone. Keep both sit bones anchored. You roll up to your starting position, palms together, and then alternate. Other hand across, look down and back to the back arm, but don't tip over and lift the other sit bone. And then roll up to center. Hands together. Across, exhale, look down and back. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, look down and back. Inhale, up to center. Again, exhale to reach. Inhale to lift. Exhale to reach. Inhale to lift, two more. Exhale, across. Inhale, lift. And exhale, across. Inhale, lift. Now reach the arms up. And I'm gonna turn so you can see me on this one. But you'll keep your legs extended with the knees slightly bent. And you're gonna bring the hands behind the head with the shoulders down. We're gonna do our side dip. So you're gonna dip to one side, inhale. Lift from your bottom waist to come center. Dip to the other side, inhale, and lift to come to center. Dip up and over, inhale, lift to center. Dip up and over, inhale, lift to center, and release the arms. Good job. Now, we're going to roll back down on our back for our shoulder bridge prep. Roll on your side and onto your back, but no head support for this one. So head flat on your mat, knees and feet together, but this time I'm bringing my knees closer right under my knees, uh, so feet are right under my knees, and arms alongside on the mat, and I'm in that neutral pelvis to start. We're gonna bridge, keeping the legs together, and do our little one foot hover off the mat an inch only, just an inch to a two inches max. All right, let's inhale, prepare. Hollow the belly curl. Roll the pelvis up to straight line bridge. Now make sure you have this nice neutral on, on the bridge. Then hover your right foot or either foot one inch off the mat, no dipping or dropping in that pelvis and put it back down. Nothing moves at all. Just sit that same foot lifts, inhale, hold it. Carefully put it down, exhale like you're putting it on a pool of water. Same foot, lift it again, inhale, no wobbles. Put it down, exhale, and then sink the chest to roll down bone by bone. Unravel and release to neutral. One more time, inhale, pelvic curl. Roll up to that bridge in a straight line, stay. Hover the other foot, inhale, nothing wobbling. Put it down, exhale. Same foot, hover it, inhale, Put it down, exhale. One more time, hover it, inhale. Put it down, exhale. Now sink that upper chest, roll down carefully. Once you're all the way down, pick your legs up one at a time, grab behind, hug your knees to your chest, rock a little side to side, ease out that low back. Now cross your ankles, open your knees the width of your shoulders and move that tabletop position to your 90-90, knee over crease, but keep the knees at, turned out to the diagonal shoulder width and your ankles crossed. Notice my shins are parallel to the ceiling. I'm not bringing my feet up like this. I want my feet in line with knees. This is your uh, rollover prep. You're gonna scoop from your very low area where your pubic bone is, and you're gonna curl the tailbone towards you to roll the pelvis to about your waist. 
Then you put the brakes on with your abdominals to control it as you roll down. It's not a plopping down. It's a rolling down to your neutral. Anchor your tailbone at the bottom. Inhale, scoop from your low belly to initiate. Curl smoothly, it's not a quick movement. Put the brakes on controlling the descent. So you roll down very smoothly to return to your neutral. Two more, scoop and curl, exhale. Roll the pelvis down, inhale. And one more, scoop and curl, exhale. And roll to neutral, pause. Uncross your ankles, hug in. Place your feet down one at a time. And roll to your side and ease yourself to a sit. Okay, we're going into side line. So you're gonna face me and I'll be your mirror. So I'm laying on my, whatever side you see me, you wanna have your head so it's the same direction, so that I'm your mirror. And that way it's easier to follow. Now you're gonna stretch out in a straight line from head to toe. Stack your ankles, bottom arm extended, palm to the ceiling, slip head support between head and arm, kickstand your top hand close to the body, draw the top shoulder away from the ear. Now legs are actively stretched, they're not relaxed, knees are not bent, they're really stretched out together. And make sure they're lined up with the front side of your body, their feet should never be behind you. Kickstand the hand, as I said, and then lift under your bottom waist ever so slightly and tighten that front low belly. Now top leg goes to hip bone height only. See, I'm not going up here higher, just hip bone height. You flex the foot, pulling the toes back towards your shin and squeeze to the bottom leg. Point lift, inhale, flex, squeeze to the bottom leg, exhale. Point lift, inhale, flex, squeeze down, exhale. Point lift, inhale, flex, squeeze it down. Adding on, point lift, stay at hip height. Bring the bottom leg to the top leg, ankles together and both legs control down. Top leg, inhale, bottom leg, exhale to it, smoothly both down. We call this staggered lifts. Top leg, inhale, bottom leg to it, exhale, both come down. Last one, top leg, inhale, bottom leg, exhale, both come down. Now keep your ankles together like they're rubber banded, no movement in the trunk as you squeeze both legs up together as a unit and both legs slowly down. Squeeze up, exhale. Lower, inhale. Squeeze up, exhale. Lower, inhale. Squeeze up, exhale. Lower, inhale. Last time, squeeze up and stay. Bottom leg beats to top leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold 10 and lower. Now bend both legs to a 90-90 position, meaning like a chair, your knees are stacked together, ankles stacked together, and your shins are parallel to the edge of your mat. Now this top hip bone is gonna lengthen away, so you're lifting ever so slightly under your bottom waist and kickstand the top hand again. Take the top leg straight out in line with your hip bone, with the bottom leg remaining bent on the mat. Flex the top foot. This is your side kick. You take the leg forward for a double exhale. Exhale, exhale. You point the foot and go ever so slightly behind the hip bone to the back, but not so far that you rock forward and the foot is pointed in the back direction. Flex forward, exhale, exhale. Reach and point back, inhale. Forward, exhale, exhale, point, reach back, inhale. Forward, exhale, exhale, reach back, inhale. Forward, exhale, exhale, reach back and hold. Now stack it straight out in line. Tiny circle, forward for four, not moving the pelvis. Three, two, and one. Reverse direction, four, Three, two, and one. Hold, bend the knee, lay leg on top of leg, push to sit, 
Grab your head support, swing to the other side. Face the, uh, your, um, your uh, whatever you're playing this on, <laughs> so you can see it. Don't turn your back to it. And so just go to the other side, but face it. Now, stack up in a straight line with the bottom arm extended in line with your torso. Head support between the head and arm. Kick, stand your hand in front. Stack your ankles together parallel, remembering to line up with the front side of the body. Lift under the bottom waist a little bit. Tighten that front belly. And now draw the shoulder down. Okay, top leg. Inhale to hip bone height. Flex the foot. Squeeze to the bottom leg like you're pushing through mud. Point lift, inhale. Flex, squeeze together, exhale, point lift, inhale, flex, squeeze, exhale, point lift, inhale, flex, squeeze it down. This time, point lift and stay hip bone height, not too high, see it always stays at or below the hip line. Bottom leg squeezes to the top leg, ankles are together, knees are straight, and slowly place the legs down, don't drop them. Top leg, inhale, bottom leg squeezes up, really tighten the belly and lower both. Top leg, inhale, bottom leg to it, hold, control it down. One more, top leg, inhale, bottom leg up to it, hold, and slowly. Now keeping the legs rubber banded together, both legs squeeze up as a unit, exhale, and lower with control. Never bending the knees, squeeze the legs up, and lower down. Exhale, check that top shoulder, no hunch. And down, and exhale, squeeze it up. And lower, and one more, up and stay. Bottom leg beats, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold, 10, lower with control. Bend both legs 90-90, chair and stack those hip bones and take the legs straight out. Make sure it's nice and taut and in line with your top hip bone, then flex the foot. Side kick, pendulum forward, exhale, exhale. Point the foot to reach just slightly back, but don't lean forward or roll forward. And forward, exhale, exhale. And reach the leg, keeping that knee straight. Forward, exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch, keeping it at that hip bone height. And forward, exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch, tight belly always. And exhale, exhale. Reach and point back, one more. Flex forward, exhale, exhale. And a long inhale back. Now take it straight out in line with your hip bone. Keep the leg parallel and do a tiny circle forward for four, three. No pelvic movement, three, two, and one. Reverse four, three, two, and hold one, and then bend the leg slowly, leg on top of leg, push to your sit. All right, facing, in toward, uh, facing uh, sideways again, you're going to tuck and roll on your side and onto your back. Okay. So, uh, for this next part, we're just going to, uh, let's grab your little towel that we're using between the knees and place that. All right. And then we're going to take the arms up with the palms toward each other. Draw your belly in tight, tailbone down. We're just going to open the arms to hover above the floor and then close up over solar plexus, the base of the breastbone. This is your hug a tree, open and hug a tree up. Think of a nice stretch through the arm, but keep the shoulders wide and down. And one more, inhale and exhale, pause up. Now your right arm goes back, your left one to your side pelvis, and they arrive at the same time hovering just above the mat in opposition to each other, and then they arrive at the same time over your solar plexus palms, always toward each other. Alternate, other arm goes back, first arm goes to the hip, always above the floor a, a couple of inches, and back to straight up. So this is a little scissoring of the arms. We reach away, inhale, you bring it straight up, exhale. 
you reach away. Now later we'll be doing these with weights, but I'm just showing you the movements today. And reach away, inhale, and back up, exhale, and reach away, inhale, and back up. Now both arms reach back, rib cage arms, inhale. Circle to the side and hug a tree over the chest. So it's like a half circle. You reach back, inhale, open hovering above the floor to the side and over the chest, hug a tree. Reach back, inhale, open to the side and hug a tree. Reverse, open side, reach behind, palms are facing the ceiling. Then take the arms straight up over solar plexus and turn the palms to face each other. Open side above the floor. Reach back, keeping all your back ribs on the mat. Take it straight up over solar plexus and turn the palms toward each other. One more time. Open side. Reach behind, hands and armpits toward the ceiling. Take it up over the chest, over the solar plexus, and turn the palms. And then bring the arms down and remove your little towel. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Grab around behind the back of that left leg to pull it towards you for a little thread the needle stretch. And hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Release. Change sides, cross left over right, opening the left knee. Thread through the middle and the outside to grab the back of the right, pull it towards you. You can use your elbow to gently press your left thigh open if you want. Hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, release, uncross. Pick up that twisted towel. You might have to retwist it just a little bit. We're gonna do our hamstring stretch. So get it twisted and then grab the ends of your towel. You wanna to grab toward the very ends to make it as long as possible. Hook it over the bottom of your right arch. Then take the leg to your stretch position and draw the tailbone down. Now, if you're having trouble reaching it, you might need to next time use a beach towel, which is longer, um, but if your bath towel is too short. Um, some of us are, are a little less flexible and we might need to have a longer towel. Now, we're, the bottom leg can be bent or straight, and we're gonna do those little uh, bend and stretch of the top leg. So you bend the top knee a little bit, but keep your foot on the ceiling and then stretch into the towel. Bend it stretch it, one more, bend it, stretch it, hold, turn the foot inward and slightly across, hold for two breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, foot and leg back to normal, and then keep that leg straight as you open to a little bit of a diagonal side. You might have to anchor one elbow on the mat there and then really feel that inner thigh stretch. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, and return to straight up. And now we're gonna slip the other foot in. Just a quick way to change. All right, find your stretch position with the tailbone down. Kind of harder to do with the towel instead of the TheraBand, but do try to get that tailbone down. Feel the stretch in the top back leg and hold and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Now we take uh, the top leg and just uh, do a little bend and stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch into the towel. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch into the towel. And inhale, bend. And exhale, stretch. Hold there. Turn the top foot inward and leg slightly across. Hold for a couple of breaths.
return to straight up foot to normal. And now open carefully to that side diagonal, keeping your pelvis level on your mat. Breathe as you hold that inner thigh stretch. Return slowly up, more for one more breath. Inhale, exhale. Softly bend the knees, release your towel. And even though it's not the band, I still like to rub the hands out a little because there's a little tension created from holding that towel so taut. Um, so shake it out a little, rub it a little. And then hug both legs in, give it a nice little back stretch there. We're gonna roll to your side. Now, um, if you have a sitting pad that you already prepared, you can sit on it. If not, we're just gonna do a quick side stretch. So you'll just cross your legs in front. I'm gonna put mine down here and sit nice and tall. So we're gonna go up and over, reaching to a side bend, inhale, and up, exhale, and up and out. And lift, take a nice big breath, inhale, and press out, exhale, and one more inhale, reach, and float the hands to the thighs. Organizing that good neutral, see how you feel. Thank you all.